Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored 2. My name is Skugic and I'll be your host on this wonderful evening. And today we'll go on another mission and I think we're actually very close to the end of the game, so... Let's make sure we wrap this up neatly. My Emily, your courier is only giving me sa scant minutes to write back before he leaves you leaves for your secret location. I'm in tears that he won't give me the location or take me along, but I trust you. I don't know if it's fair to be this angry with you, or if I should instead cry tears of joy knowing you're still alive. It seems that Morley is on the verge of going to war against Crystal, and the rumors from Dunwall are grim and strange. We've heard about soldiers made of metal, women commanding the trees, and whales gathering in the harbor, singing their songs in reverse. I hate the whole world for being between you and me while we should be holding hands. Please be safe, or I won't know what to do, Wyman. Ah, Emily. You have a little boyfriend. Or girlfriend? I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, it's... It's Y-man, not woman, but, um, you know. What was pure luck? Blah, blah, blah. Look, you know what to do, guys. And we'll write in our diary. Dear diary, today I got a letter from my boyfriend. Dust District. My thoughts are troubled as I leave the Dust District. I hope things will be different there now that I've helped the overseers. What will Vice Overseer Liam Byrne do with Paolo out of the way? Man, I'm not <laughs> I'm not happy with that. I could have gone back and changed it, but eh. this is his opportunity to make the place livable again. The air breathable, hopefully using more than sermons. I know many of their beliefs are backward, and I know the outsider is real, but at least Byrne is sincere, dedicated to what he thinks is best for the people living in Karnaka. Will the fighting stop? Will Byrne be able to change things for the miners and their families? I hope I made the right choice. You didn't. I didn't do enough to protect the least empowered parts of the Empire when I had the, the chance. I can see that now, even through all the dust. Delilah's secret. Today I saw the effects of the void, leaking into a ma I'm about to sneeze, that's why I can't speak. Aramis Stilton's house through cracks in reality. I was able to see the past and the present simultaneously. I learned a great deal, looking into the night of the Duke's gather gathering three years past. I watched a seance that brought Delilah's spirit from the void when she was trapped, and into this world. I saw that spirit preserved in an effigy made of bone by the witch Brianna Ashworth, and that effigy, holding Delilah's spirit, was given to Duke Abel for safe Duke Abel for safekeeping. Now I know why Delilah cannot be killed, as long as she's not whole. She'll remain immortal. That's fucked up. Even the outsider seemed worried. This is the information I've been seeking. Now I just have to turn it into a plan. Yeah, and we will. <laughs> Not a single mansion about Burn, though. Uh, ab about Y Man, so. Sorry, Y Man. I don't think she's interested. Alright. Is there anything of interest? No. I don't know, I always turn this on thinking maybe things will be different today, but they never are. And this place is as empty as ever. Alright. Remember when we had good old Dr. Hypatia here? Man, things were lively with her around. Riot? Okay. Is there anything we can help with today? Man, you know, when you grow a beard... And I mean, I, I've had this beard for, man, how long now? Five years or so? When you grow a beard, um, there's this very realistic problem that some hairs of your beard will just curl up and just tickle your nose all fucking day long. And as soon as you try to, like, straighten it out, it looks like you're picking your nose. Not that there's anything wrong with picking your nose. <gasps> Is that us? Yes. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> I cut that conversation a bit short. Oh. Maybe without that, it would have 
developed a healthy respect for the people of Sir Konos. The fear of the execution Wait. is blocked. Who the fuck is, is this motherfucker? motivator for many a ruler. Once the Duke falls, it's my hope that we can build something better here. Something more representative and inclusive. What? Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold the fuck on! Megan? Since when do you have two arms and two eyes? This guy is looking at me like he knows. What the fuck? What happened that changed you? What the... Stranger, while I have my suspicions regarding who you work for or who you might be, I'm willing to look the other way, disregarding your methods. I say this because you've done a great service for the Abbey and for the people of Karnaka. With Paolo gone, his howler vermin should be easy to eradicate. The Abbey will restore our hold on Sir Konos, starting here with the southern capital. I return to the strictures with an overseer providing guidance at each neighborhood chapel across the city. I've made a horrible mistake. If we cross paths in the future, I hope you're in accord with the strictures. In any case, remember the name Liam Byrne, because I won't rest until all the people of the Empire are safeguarded, counseled towards better lives, whatever that requires of me. Vice Overseer Liam Byrne. Fuck. Man, now I kind of want to go back. Shit. It was like one of the only choices this game has really given me. Uh, I'm so happy that someone would decide to draw me. Well, I mean... <laughs> I would be delighted if someone... wanted to draw... me. Sadly, I don't think that's going to happen without me spending furious amounts of money on it. Yeah, furious. Alright, I don't think there's anything else down here, so... Man, we've got a rat problem. I say problem, but rats are actually really cute. And in my opinion, harmless. Why the fuck would you want to kill them? Anyway. Uh, I guess just go back to the dudes. And I'm really confused about why I'm, what Megan's deal is. Like, uh, uh, obviously, uh, the ritual taking place... Someone messed with her arm and eye. Now we're going after the one who started it all. The Duke himself. Yeah. I forgot the thrill of it. Planning drop-off points. Picking the approach. Thinking about the best ways to kill somebody who lives behind high walls. Throw a grenade. But with the excitement, there's a black echo. That comes back to me for what I did at Dunwall Tower. If anyone deserves killing, though, it's Duke Luca Abel. I've loved a number of women, and even a couple of men. But I've never loved anyone like my Deirdre. After I left home, those first years on the streets, she's all that kept me from the bottom of the river. I could sleep on a pile of garbage under a leaky awning as long as she was there with me. Sharing a tin of potted meat or a bottle of brandy. And we nicked during the day. The Duke and his little brother came through Dunwall. And Deirdre and I got in their way as they stepped out of their fancy coach. The Duke goaded his brother, calling us wharf roaches. And it was the brother who swung the stick that killed her. Splitting her skull, there were wooden gazelles on top of the coach. And I snapped one off and drove it into his eye as deep as it would go. Deirdre was already gone. That is a door now. Lying in the muck. Staring up at the great Dunwall sky. On the run after that. I was hunted by the City Watch, and even members of the Grand Guard up from Zirkonos. People looked at me like I was cursed. Spitting whenever I got close. Everyone knew I'd bring trouble. 
even the gangs. The Duke's brother has been dead for a long time. But now was my chance to get back at Luca Abel for setting him off against pretty, young Deirdre. Nothing was the same for me after they took her away. Man. I'm sorry that happened, but at least it sounds like you got your revenge uh, years ago. I'm still confused about you, though. Like, I mean, obviously you're driven by a desire for revenge, but... I'm confused what happened to you originally that made you lose your arm, because now, I mean, you have it, so it must have been something that, like, resulted from the ritual taking place, even though I'm not sure in what way that would happen. Alright. I'm here. What's up? Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see Thanks. what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. Can we talk, Megan? Meet me at the skiff. All right. It's not widely known, but the Duke has a body double. Whoa. Man is the spitting image of Luca. That's good to know. A likable fellow and quite humble. You're talking about the double ganger. <laughs> Doppelganger. I might as well say the German word. I am German. I have no idea where they found him, but the Duke's double has spent years passing for the Duke. So what's up with you? I hope I've been of some help to you. Ah, oh, you've been the best. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Aw, oh, buddy. Hmm. You've been the greatest, man. Don't ever change. Look at you. In a lifetime, how many monarchs have done half of what you have in a month? Well, to be fair, most monarchs aren't uh, kicked off of their throne and then experience something that gives them black magic powers, so... I'm not sure I can relate to, um, to other people that are monarchs. Are you okay, buddy? I hear the Duke's wine cellar <laughs> is exquisite. If you happen to pass through. Sure, I'll, I'll get drunk on my most important assignment. I suppose Luca always hoped his oh. double would be there to take an assassin bullet. Yeah, I'll have to deal with that somehow, but I'll, I'm sure I can do it. Anyway, is that the palace? Because this is the, uh, this is the asylum, right? So it must be that, back there. What? What is your deal? It's water and a whale, actually. The whale is kind of cool. Alright, let's go. Let's do the last... The last? I guess so. I mean, we're... No, I guess Delilah's still there as well. Hey, girl. Should we head toward the palace? Emily, please, for my emotional and f psychological well-being, can you please ask her what the fuck the deal is with her eye and her arm? Ready. God damn. The Grand Palace, sir, self-serving and corrupt, Duke, <laughs> Duke Luca Bell, ruled Sir Konos and or orchestrated the coup against you. Enter the Grand Palace to find and eliminate the Duke, who protects himself from assassins with a buddy double. You must also locate Delilah's spirit, the only means of counteracting her immortality. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. So about your arms. The Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. 
maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. <laughs> I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept, in the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Sounds like you're not that okay with me after all. Damn. You really blame me for a lot of things there, Megan. Sorry if I sound bitter. Don't turn your back on the Duke. <sighs> Alright, now you said sorry. Now I can't be mad at you. Man. Alright. What's the dealio? We've got a few things. It's always best to, like, kind of lean against the wall and just look straight at a wall. Kind of like cats do. Maybe that's why they find everything. Alright. Um. Okay, so we got three bone charms, a rune, and a shrine. Okay. You know the deal. I'll just try to get through everything as quick as I can, as silently as I can, as non-lethally as I can, and not give two shits about, like... Well, I mean, I've been doing a lot of optional stuff. In fact, I'm doing all of the optional stuff, unless you mean the number of coin. Because I don't have that under control whatsoever. Alright, um, all of that stuff is still f pretty far away. These guys, uh, gonna be a problem. So there's basically no risk. Interesting. Watch yourself around the Duke's men. Uh, yeah. Hey, nice, nice fish slice. Too bad it's gone. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. I'm not sure why I did that. Oh, hey! Might be time to spring for fish cake. So hungry? I'm sorry, I just threw your fish away. Oh. Oh, come on. I, I could just hit the b hit the thing through the bar. Why does that have to be an issue? Oh, I can get through there. There we go. There we go. Not sure why I did that. Because there's absolutely nothing here. Is there? Nope. Nothing here. Thank you uh, for... Giving me a useless thing to do. Yes, please. Alright, so. The Grand Palace is over here. Mm hmm. So we're at Kellis Cove, I think. Uh, there's Amparo Plaza. A carriage stop, which means we'll have to take that across the water. Uh, which probably means we'll have to get more codes. Grand Palace and the Ravina Boulevard. Alright, so pass through here and we should already see... Yep, okay, cool. Alright, are the Duke's men are, um... Checkpoint and forest. Alright. Just don't come across anyone and it'll be fine. Cool! Alright, this is our first bone charm. Help me if you can. You don't belong here any more than I do. Do you? No. Here you You're go. a good one. You know, there's a place near here, in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. <laughs> I don't Sorry. go there anymore. I just ate your bread. You might want to check it out. That's true. Um, thank you. That's very nice of you. It is sad. Man, 
long time ago. I knew you were gonna be a fucked up little son of a bitch like the other guy that I gave money to, but... Man. Don't spit on people when they give you stuff. What the hell? This guy's just a racist. Alright, can I get up here, please? There we go. Alright, cool. Locked from the inside. Uh, this isn't. Okay, what the hell is this one? Oh, let's look at that. You bone charm. Sorry, I shouldn't destroy this poor guy's art. Or maybe it's a girl? I don't know. Damn it. Can't know. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. Do I know these people? Do I know whatever this is? I don't know. Alright. Let's not delay. We have places to be. Bone charms to steal. There's runes over there. There's runes over there. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Always with the fucking bullshit. Oh. I thought they were... Didn't I hear help cries of help? I thought they were doing something. Something bad. There's no such permit, Captain. I know the laws in Karnaka. Laws change. Laws change? Times change. Sorry. You know who else had a nice shop? That clock makes Seraphina. Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was probably the howlers. But no one knows how the fire started. Captain, Probably upstairs. In that fire. There's runes back there. Doesn't look like I can get Got to them from here, though. Mr. Marletto, on the authority of Duke Luca Bell, due to an urgent security matter, ask that you keep a spare key at your shop. Good. So it'll be here, right? Pretty sure oh. I saw someone. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Does that mean I have been spotted? Or does it only mean... Oh, no, I'm not spotted. Oh, cool. Um, well. Alright, yeah, they, they are mad. You guys are mad. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, I guess this works. I don't know what you're dealing with. Alright, this guy is getting a bit on my nerves. Excuse yourself, I wanted to see that. Oh, he's just on the other side. Oh no, there he is. Alright. Can I go through here? No. Alright. Man. Back off. I'm about half sure doing? there was something going on. Eh, yeah, next time. No. Why? I just wanted to take care of you guys. Ah. All right. Well. Oh shit. We we were over time. I'm so sorry. Um. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. Maybe subscribe. Maybe share the video around. It's up to you, but it would help me out a lot. Uh, never forget, kids don't skip school. And I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully, we'll keep the time under control next time. So bye bye. Thank you so much.